So in continuation of the explanation I give you people on this one, where you need an external source of current to determine the on and off state of this LED bulb, that is, it automatically switches off in the daytime and on in the nighttime with the aid of two, the battery, then and the rechargeable. So, as is, the solar panel will be charging the battery as well while it switches off the bulb. But I will be showing you another circuit. Look at this one again. This is virtually almost the same thing. Look at them. The only major difference between this one is rather than use an external source of power to switch this one on and off as well as charge the battery. In the case of this one, you don't need any extra source of power. You are still using the battery from the, the power from the battery to switch on and off this circuit, irrespective of whether you are, whether it is charging or not charging. So you don't have any extra external power here. Here you need external power from solar panel or rechargeable uh, charger. Look at what will happen now. This is an optocoupler. This is a sensor. This thing is very sensitive to light. The moment I cover it, you see the bulb comes up. If I take my my hand, it goes off. If I cover it, the bulbs come on. So it is sensitive to light. Once there is light, it conducts from here to this positive terminal and the transistor will switch it off. This thing, there is nothing really special here. I will show you exactly what it is. Look at it here. Inside the mobile phone charger, I have explained the function of this thing before. This is it here. It is called an optocoupler. This thing you are seeing here, this is an optocoupler that takes care of. I cut it. Once you cut it, I pick the sensor part of it. So which is responsible in our mobile phone charger to aid in preventing overcharging of our phone so that is exactly what i'm using this is our bulb this is a mosfet a pmp that is an n type that is pmp this is an um, P, uh, pmp here too this is an npn transistor so this is a 1k resistor that is switching it on this transistor take care of switching it on while this thing takes care of switching it off that is how it works so when the current comes in here in the absence of this optocoupler, this circuit will remain on. But once light is exposed to this circuit uh, optocoupler, it's presumed you put an imaginary jumper wire from here to this point. And the conductivity of the current that will be flowing from here to here is going to be more than what is coming from here to here. Then the circuit will go off. Thank you very much.